Hey, ka, hey, ka, hey, ka, hi, everybody. I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all smiling and enjoying your lovely day. So in this following tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you on how to toggle uh, different animations via hotkeys, as well as also quickly showing um, how to get working with the stream deck, uh, which is a little extra. But pretty much, you can be able to set up different hotkeys. So instead of having to go into assets, character, animation, and then just basically hunting down the animation that you want, basically, Instead, we can be able to set up hotkeys to make this a lot more easier for us. So, we're gonna have to utilize blueprints, and don't worry, the node is very simple. Just follow along with me. So, what we're going to do is we're going to add a blueprint right here. Then, on the search bar right here, you're going to, if you are using keyboard, you're going to type in the following on keystroke. And then you're going to uh, click and drag the one that says on keystroke press. Click and drag. And there you go. Look at you going. You're now making your own first node. Or if it is your first node, I don't know. But basically, um, you'll have this one if you are using keyboard. If you are a Stream Deck user, um, you will have to type in stream. And then for my case, usually I tend to use the trigger one. But again, it depends on, it depends on you, basically. You can also use toggle too really depends uh, but for the most part I tend to always use the trigger one as it's easier for me um, but basically whichever one you want you choose it uh, but um, for the time being of course we're just going to focus on just the keystroke basically so what we're going to do um, is that I'm going to go ahead and duplicate it so I'm going to make two of them so two different toggles uh, and then what we're going to do is on the search bar here we're going to look up animation and then what you're going to then do is um, pretty much you're going to click on the one that says play character idle animation here. This is going to be the one that will allow you to easily toggle between different animations. Of course there are, you know, if by any chance you have uh, mixed different animations together, you can of course use load character animation profile instead. Uh, if you have mixed different animations together into one, um, in the animation tab for character, otherwise, you know, you don't have to use that. It really depends up on you. Um, but either way, you can, of course, check out the other nodes, but otherwise, this is pretty much all we pretty much need to get ourselves started with the simple, simple toggle, basically. So, uh, what we're going to do, for my case, I'll have two different animations. So I want, um, I basically want one, um for my you know my normal default pose here and then i want another one where i do the cat pose basically so what we're going to do uh we're gonna first start off with this one so for this one i want this to be my generic pose so i'll set this to character click on preview gallery find the one that says generic for my case uh because i want this to be my default you can also change the transition time if you want it snappier or you want it to be a smooth transition uh, you can mess with the other things if you like, of course. Uh, there's even reset to animation. Um, but otherwise, though, you can mess with the things however you like. Um, but yeah, so this one's generic. And then this one here, I'll do the same exact thing. Set this to character. Uh, this one I'm going to be setting to... Let's see. Let's find cat. And we'll set this to the little cat uh, movement here. And then uh, what we're going to then do, we'll set the transition time to be a little lower. And then pretty much what we're going to then do is we're going to connect uh, these two together. Connect from exit to enter. And then you're going to go ahead and set up your keystroke. So for my case, I'm going to set mine to numpad 1 right here. And then this one to numpad 2. Like so. You can, of course, uh, set it to, it could be having control, numpad 1, or shift, or alt, however you want, basically. But either way, if you do this correctly, you should be able to have it where if I press numpad 2, I have a cute little cat pose. Otherwise, I can press numpad 1 and go back to my normal self, basically. But also, um, as well, I can even have it where if I press uh, numpad 2 again, it will reset me back. Uh, to my original stance, of course, but either way, um, like I can even have this be, let's say, um, laugh up, basically. Then I can have it where I'm laughing. Ha 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 ha. La ha 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 ha. Um, but either way, though, pretty much, uh, you could definitely mess around, you know, with however you want with the toggles, basically. 
And either way, uh, that's pretty much it for the tutorial regarding how to do animation toggles. It's pretty basic. Uh, you can do a lot more with Wadado, of course, regarding the sub. You can even have it where it connects to redeems, even and such. Uh, but just to keep things simple, this is pretty much how you set up the whole animation toggles. I hope that this tutorial helps you out. And of course, remember there is a Wadado Discord server. If you need um, Wadado help, then please join the Discord server. Um, or you can check out Wadado's Twitter. Um, they also you know, provide assistance as well. But I hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye!